Hello VAC fans. Here's another repeat test. A repeat as far as 100 millimeters of red sand in a clear straw. And we're going to have a Centria 2 try to pick it up with a dirt meter. Got a fresh pad in there. So red sand ought to be pretty visible with a black pad. So as a refresher, this guy does 137 CFM on my airflow box. And when you measure the water lift right here after you take the head off, I measure 32 inches of water lift. So most likely underneath here, and considering there's a seal right in there, it's probably 30 inches of water lift. Maybe it's even 26 inches of water lift. So it's certainly something less than 32. So comparing it to the Dyson, it's probably going to be about half. But obviously the airflow is tremendously uh, much, much more. So let's see, will high airflow combined with low water lift and the uh, brush roll down here that is the oblique stiff bristles make much of a difference compared to a Dyson DC-65 or any other vacuum that I'll repeat with this test. So let's go ahead and put down some sand. Do a couple of lines there. You don't think 100 millimeters of sand is a lot until you start spreading it out on the carpet. All right. Kind of pound it in a little bit. It's disappearing, the great disappearing sand trick. And there you go. Sand? What sand? All right, so let's see what this does. I'll try to keep the camera rolling as much as I can. We're going to do 10 full cycles. 10 forward, 10 back, and we'll go ahead and flip this thing 90 degrees midway through. Let's see what we got. Hopefully I don't spill any, because otherwise I have to repeat the test. Oh, I'm spilling some. All right, I'm gonna, um, <laughs> I'm at the point where I don't know if I can do this. I'm gonna shut the camera off and slowly get this out. All right, I gotta put this down on my paper. I think I spilled a little bit. There, I'm gonna shut the camera off. Be right back. And now for the results. Dun dun da da. 42 millimeters of red sand recovered, and I think I probably lost a millimeter or two uh, when I was trying to get the black pad out. There's also something else to consider here. These black pads right here, I have the newer ones, and they are the, the spun ones, they're not the papery ones. These are fairly fibrous. But, I wonder if I did it, this is actually, I cut out part of a HEPA bag. So this is actually Kirby HEPA bag right here. I sacrificed a HEPA bag. And I may repeat the results and show them if they're any different with one of these, which actually is part of the HEPA bag. I assume this probably will give better results since it's designed to give better airflow, I think, than maybe one of these. But still, 42 millimeters, 10 passes, I'll take it. Boy, that's a lot better than the Dyson. So, what does this prove conclusively? Does high suction count when picking up... Now, this isn't bowling balls or anything like that. This is fine sand, so this still qualifies as fine dirt. But it's heavy. It's very, very dense. It's not your normal dirt that you find in the carpet that you pick up. 
So, wow, that's really fantastic. So you're talking at, let's see, 16 and 42, you're talking about two and a half times more pickup. And guess what? The DC-65 had about 52 CFM. This one has about 137. Isn't that about two and a half times without getting a calculator out? Hmm, I wonder if the two things are connected. Higher airflow, better pickup. What do you think? Like, comment, and subscribe.